Hmm. Anything else down here? Or is this... Eh. Some more. Okay. I think that's everything on this section, isn't there? Yes, so we've... we've We've bothered pretty much everyone there is to bother, so let's... There's a lift. Let's go in the lift. That's my locker. Woo! I will grab my stuff. Codex. Systems Alliance N7. The Alliance Military Vocation Code system classifies the career path of all serving personnel. The MVC consists of one letter and one number. A soldier's MVC indicates proficiency, not rank. The letter notes career path. The number indicates level of experience as indicated by service record, technical scores and commendations. All 26 letters are used and numbers run from 1 to 7. N is the, is the letter code for Special Forces personnel. So if that's who we are, we're, up, we're N7. We're Special Forces and we're the best of 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 the best. Or whatever. Let's go down. Loading. Loading. Thank you. Silly. Let's use the right button. Rex. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. All oh, mine. What can I do for you? Uh, let's talk about you. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. There's always a story, Rex. Go ask Once. the Quarian if you want stories. Come on. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rex, you're awesome. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. Isn't it? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? Uh, An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? Okay, I'm kind of making this better. I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Uh, I see your I point. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's um, let's deliberately antagonise the guy who's bigger than us. So um, he's very much bigger than us, and kind of is spoiling for a fight almost all the time. So okay, I won't. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The Genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Oh. So what is then? Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So? Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. I see. So long, Rex. Shepard. Ashley, how you doing? Commander? How are we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... That we'd saved your unit. You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. Don't blame yourself. The Gath are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Okay, goodbye. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. Right. So, um... Garrus! Oh, I'm running into you. Ah. 
Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. You knew? You've done this before? Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. <laughs> hmm. Um, as a guy in the military, I probably don't un fully understand what what bureaucrats are like, but my goodness, am I tempted to put that. Uh, it can't be that bad. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. That was your reason? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. These kind of things are a tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. Grand. Without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. That depends. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. I think I may have annoyed him. Sorry, Garrus. Ooh, Codex. Yes, I'm gonna... Gonna read all of these. non surprise. The Krogan. After the Rachni War. Rachni? Rach. Rach. Rachni. Rach, yes, we'll go with that. After the Rachni War. War. Boy. War. The quick breeding Krogan expanded at the expense of their neighbors. Warlords leveraged their veteran soldiers to seize living space, while the council races were still grateful. Over century. Yes, um, what, is it? what was that? The Munich Agreement? Over centuries, the Krogan conquered world after world. There was always just one more needed. Definitely the Munich Agreement going on here. When the Council finally demanded withdrawal from the Asari colony of Lucia, Krogan overlord Kredak stormed off the Citadel, daring the Council to take their worlds back. But the Council had taken precautions. The finest STG operators and Asari Huntresses had been drafted into a covert observation force, the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. The Spectres opened the war with crippling strategic strikes. Krogan planets went dark as computer viruses flooded their extranet. Sabotaged antimatter refineries disappeared in blue-white annihilation. Headquarters stationed... Headquarters... Head, headquarters stations shattered into into orbit-clogging debris, rammed by pre-placed suicide f freighters. Still, this only de delayed the inevitable. The war would have been lost if not for first contact with the Turians, who responded to Krogan threats with a prompt declaration of war. Being on the far side of Krogan's space from the Council, the Turians advanced rapidly into the lightly defended Krogan rear areas. The Krogan responded by dropping space stations and asteroids on Turian colonies. Three worlds were rendered completely uninhabitable. This was precisely the wrong approach to take with the Turians. Each is first and foremost a public servant, willing to risk his life to protect his comrades. Rather than increasing public war weariness, Krogan tactics stiffened Turian resolve. And I said the Turians were British, that's the Blitz! <laughs> the arrival of Turian task forces saved many worlds from the warlords' marauding fleets, but it took development of the genophage bioweapon to end the war. There were decades of unrest afterwards. Rogue warlords and holdout groups of insurgents refused to surrender or disappeared into the frontier systems to become pirates. Mm. Don't want to talk to you. You'll cost me money. I don't have any money. Let's talk to en Engineer Adams. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Uh, is she bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. 
I can see why you wanted her to come along. Oh, I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. Indeed. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Um, what can you tell me about the Normandy? I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. Drive Core? What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? Tantalus Drive Core. Fortunately, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Ooh. And then um, I, I was told about the stealth systems. What, what are they like? Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside mm. our own hull. So we're basically invisible to sensors. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Oh, so FTL gives us away. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up to FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTO flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Hooray, cloaking! Uh, let, let's ask a personal question Where about you, Adams. you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. Mm -hmm. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Wait, so, yeah, these are battles, aren't they? So this is, I'm guessing this is, we're on the D-Day landings. Hmm. Alright. Carry on, Adams. I want to check that. Aye, aye.